Hello and welcome everybody to this term's video newsletter which also happens to be a real newsletter which is coming out in the post to you. Uh, we can report lots of really good things this term. I guess the key event for all of us has been examinations. Examinations have um, been interesting this year. Lots of good uh, stories come out of the exam room. Students seem well prepared, very happy, thought the papers were fair so we've all got our fingers crossed and hoping that the results follow. They certainly deserve to get good results because they put a lot of effort in year 11 and year 13 in particular. Most important things to mention are key dates. Uh, they will all be in the college calendar, so that you can access off the website. Please do that. All the dates are there for next year. Um, lots of exciting things happening, of course, and uh, we'd be delighted to see many of you in the college whenever you can uh, make it. You know that you're welcome anytime, any day. So please take advantage of that and certainly the, the key dates. Uh, staffing is another thing I just want to go over very quickly. We do have a number of staff leaving this year from learning mentors, um, support assistants, some support staff and some teachers. All of those will be in the written newsletter which you can access off the website and students will have a copy of. Um, the key thing here, there's two really special members of staff that I want to mention. Not wanting to pick them out in terms of the job they've been doing uh, from the others because everyone has done a good job for us but two key members of staff are leaving. Uh, one works very closely with Mrs Ryan and myself and that's Mrs Jones. Uh, we need to congratulate her because not only has she passed the National Professional Qualification for Head Teachers, she's got herself a new job and is moving to Derbyshire and taking on a deputy headship in a large school in Buxton. So we'd all like to wish her well. And the other one is Miss Dimbleby, a stalwart of the college and after a huge number of years of fantastic service for families in Whitby, she has chosen to retire and we will miss those two. Equally we will miss everybody else, but um, as always we've got some able replacements coming in. Uh, three that you will get to know very quickly, uh, Ms Thompson, Walker and Wallace in English, Science and Humanities. Really good people and I'm sure you will enjoy working with them in the, um, in the near future. One final thing from me, summer holidays are here, I know people grow rather rapidly in their teenage years. If you do need uniform um, and you're buying new over the summer, can you please uh, get the stuff that's on the uniform list? If you're unsure, access that list uh, off the college website. And we look forward to seeing everyone in September in uh, shiny new uh, school uniform. Yeah. You've got a couple of interesting things as well. I have, yes. Hi, everyone. Um, I just want to give you um, a few updates around the provision that we've got for post-16 next year and also our year 11s. Um, we are in the process currently of redesigning our current learning centre so that we can create a new post-16 learning centre where students can use to work and to socialise um, at breaks and lunch times. So there'll be more of that um, to share with you in the new term. This also gives us an opportunity of providing a year 11 common room, which we're designing now for students so that they will be able to access this and use this space during their breaks and lunch times and at the beginning and ends of the school day. Um, we identified this as a real need for the current year 11s. They are much more mature in their working attitudes and you know, really do need this space to be able to develop into the post-16 learners that they are aspiring to be. Um, so we look forward to sharing both of those spaces with you in the new term. I also want to um, give you a quick update on the week's year six to seven transition. We've had an absolutely fantastic few days with the new year sixes, and it has been a real pleasure to get to know the new families of these students. Um, the staff in particular have made an amazing effort to get to know these students and their families. And you know, we were just saying earlier how impressed we have been in how quickly 
they found their way around the site and settled into some really you know good learning so far this week so we we are um, celebrating their learning this week in tomorrow's afternoon celebration of learning where families are invited and staff from their old schools to come and see um, the work they've done this week so moving into the current year nines we've also moved those students across from the schools we cite and with them they are bringing the new sale curriculum from year seven and eight into year nine and i would just like to say a huge thank you to our staff who have been working tremendously hard this term in developing the the learning materials the resources etc so that students will be able to continue learning in this uh, new style so this is for us to help students create more agency and to take ownership of their learning so we look forward to being able to report more to you all um, in the new term on how that's going. Okay, thank you. And finally from me, uh, two key, key people have received um, some promotion within the college. I just want to mention it to you. Mr Graham, who you know well, is now Assistant Principal in charge of all matters at uh, Key Stage 3 and really developing the cell curriculum that you've just been talking about. And um, not saving her blushes, Mrs. Rahn is now our Deputy Principal, so congratulations to Mrs. Rahn. Thank you. We look forward to seeing everybody in September, keep yourself safe and sound, enjoy your summer break and thank you all for your continued support in everything we do.